okay so good morning all i am audible yes ma'am yes, ma okay, my screen is visible yes, yes ma'am okay so in last lecture we are we are seeing the point that will be the okay, context variable and process based parallelism okay means what in process based parallelism means what how two processes are uh, like uh, similarly two processes how we are executing that point we are seeing and next point we are seeing that will be the context variable okay means what uh, what is context variable like uh, a variable declaration we are using the context variable okay in that we are seeing the three or uh, met uh, three methods that will be a gate set reset uh, reset means what gate means what we are taking a set means what we are setting some of the values and reset means we are uh, resetting the value which we are assigning okay uh, then we are seeing the some of the uh, properties related to that now today uh, we will see the point that will be the gui program okay so uh, this is the last concept uh, relate uh, this is last point uh, related to the fifth chapter that will be a gui okay so uh, the python offers multiple op options for developing gui that will be means what a graphical user interface okay out of out of all the GUI method, TK inter uh, is the most common use. Means what we are using TK inter uh, most means uh, like uh, for G GUI application, we know that we are having a lots of uh, lots of methods or lots lots of standard packages are there. So in uh, all that we are using the TK inters. Okay, uh, okay, it is a standard uh, Python interface uh, to the TK means we call it as a tk gui toolkit uh, uh, splitted with the python python with the tk inter is the faster and easiest way to create a gui application means what uh, if we are working with the, the uh, means uh, related to gui that time tk inter uh, tk is a uh, most popular gui that will be help us to uh, create the create the gui very fast and it will be easy to access okay so tk is a one of the a standard library okay that will be interface the desktop application means what the desktop application to the any internet uh, related application means what by using tk we are interfacing the uh, desktop based application means interface okay. with graphics and a desktop okay so uh, how we are means what how we are creating means at the time of developing any of the application that will be based on GUI that time we are it is uh, we are using the uh, um, one of the more most popular model that will be import TK enter okay so uh, we know we uh, we we are having some of the basic steps uh, you have to see here uh, that will be first we need to import the model means what uh, first at the uh, time of starting gui designing we need to import that model which model we are uh, using the tk enter model okay so uh, suppose uh, uh, those who are working with the uh, those who are working with the ideally they have to just go to command prompt set the path and just uh, write i will tell here We need to first of all need to copy all the uh, path. Okay. Now here we write CD space. We need first to set the path. Now here I write pip install pk and okay. Okay, means what actually here my uh, my ideally will be with uh, uh, actually updated version so that it will be a not installing. So you have to try with your uh, like a pip install here. We need to, I think, so okay. I uh, this version will be a not support over here actually we need to see that uh, means uh, what is the 
uh, exactly means we need here actually i think so python 3 or python 2.7 uh, uh, 7 uh, 0.64 like that version okay so uh, that's why it will be here not installing okay so just we need to first upon import the a uh, thinker means how to import just you have to uh, check uh, it totally depend on the our system the system support to which uh, which uh, means which the tk enter a uh, toolkit okay tk toolkit okay so for that we need to first of all create the main window that will be a container means what creating a main application window means what we call it as a, that will be a tk interface means what the basic a uh, structure which we are creating so in that we are adding a number of a uh, number of labels button frames like that many points are there related to the gui okay so calling that um, uh, function means what the function or the window which we are creating in that we are uh, we are putting some of the labels tags like all the same so for calling that we uh, we need, we are having some of the function so first of all we are seeing the basic program means how to uh, means import uh, simply or take a means how to display simply gui okay so from uh, first we need to uh, here i am importing take enter okay so for what i should do now from okay from tk enter import here i am using the a multiplication symbol why because the multiplication symbol means what it will be a take all the packages which will be present over there okay which will be uh, present over there so that's why i'm using here asterisk symbol okay now what i should do just i click top is equal to t k okay this will be the one of the method which we are using uh, like a short name for tk enters okay that will be a tk and just i write a top dot main loop okay means it is a one of the method okay so this line of code will be only represent the how our gui window will be there just one minute So it is not okay so you have to see here the the window this window it will be our thinker window means what it is a the output window the program which we are writing over there that will be a this part okay means what the this part will be a simply for displaying this window that will be a you have to say here here name is a tk okay so this will be the simply output of the thinker okay that will be the tk uh, interface which we are using okay so this will be the one of the basic part so uh, that uh, here i will explain that there are two methods which we are using to remember while creating a, a gui program okay so one is a tk means what the in that tk uh, it will be the inbuilt inbuilt uh, inbuilt method in that uh, we are having the screen name screen name means what tk you we are seeing that here 
tk directly tk is there so that will be you are taking that is a screen name then base name is equal to none and class name means what we are writing this all in the single format that will be a uh, variable declaration is equal to tk dot tk name means the method which we are writing over there that will be a thinker as a tk okay the, this will be the method okay then uh, we are having main loop means what there is a method known known by the name main loop is used of when your application is ready to run means what this method is for what for displaying this uh, means our this thinker will be a uh, thinker will be a interface with our system means what if suppose uh, in uh, this program i am uh, i want to add one of the button means what if i i will write the code for button over here after uh, after uh, okay after execution of the program here one button will be added means what if i want to uh, add any any gui related uh, function that will be added over there so we call it as a this will be the uh, main uh, main function which is related to uh, gui okay <coughs> okay uh, so this will be the basic things uh, related to uh, the package which we are using over there so you have to see here this some of the method which we are using in between the uh, various uh, various uh, functions like these all uh, 13 function at the time of implementation of this 13 function we are using this methods to means uh, the to access that button or label or textbook many anything for that we are using this method like a packet method grid, uh, grid method and place method okay so now uh, this will be the simply a basic introduction of the this will be a related to all the simply a basic uh, things which we uh, need to use okay so uh, any doubt is there means how to uh, import the thinker simply yes any doubt is there regarding how to means this the if you you have a doubt related to tk interface it will be you will uh, you do you, you didn't, didn't didn't understand anything okay related to a gui so any doubt is there yeah any doubt okay main loop means what so the main loop which means what the this main loop here i am writing a main loop Me, means what main loop is one of the we call it as a main loop is one of the a function or method which if suppose i am not calling this method or uh, this gui will be a not display means this window this window G, uh, gen, this window is not generated okay so means what there uh, is there is a method known by the main loop means what this will be one of the method which uh, is used when application is ready to run means what if we are not writing this the this gui will be a not display means what it is an infinity loop used to run the application means what we know that suppose we are adding multiple accessories in our that gui so for that we don't know now how many uh, how many accessories we are adding so here i have a 13 means we are some someone know that uh, many of the accessories like button menu and all the things so for that we call it as a, that will be the main loop is a infinity loop okay so we are having closed loop for that is means what m dot a uh, main loop main loop we are uh, writing here in our program so this will be main loop is for to display the this window yes any more doubt are you understood <coughs> yes we yeah, understood okay now so we will move to the uh, next point that will be the main important point okay so uh, all of you first of all you need to execute the uh, this program first all of you simply first of all you need to execute this program yes all of you and uh, those who have complete they have to tell me first i will stop my sharing just the three line of code you have to first uh, you need to execute this after that we are uh, doing the uh, program related to this all button means how we are accessing different gui 
uh, uh, GUI uh, text in our uh, main GUI page. Okay, so first you need to execute this three line of code. Do it first only few minutes it's required. Okay, do it first. If at the time of execution any doubt, then ask. Ma'am, error is the phone, Madhi. Putter? Yes? Miss phone, Madhi, karta na error is the phone. Yes, phone, Madhi, error is the phone. Karta na, jacha kad laptop ho gara hai, it's actually GUI cha program karu shakta. Because uh, they, they think there's a package ahead, so GUI is a main package. So, if you import this, you can execute it. 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 You can execute Yes, Amir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you are executing your program on laptop or something. मैं मोबाइल में होते हैं होते हैं ना yes, which compiler you are use pyroid application so uh, those who want to execute this program GUI program you have to use the uh, uh, pyr the Mihir said that uh, that application you have to download for the uh, GUI programming Mihir you have to share the link of the uh, application on the uh, group or ch in chat so everyone, uh, please, you have to install that. Means what? You will be easy to understand how to execute the GUI programs. Okay? Yes, many of people are uh, sending a reply on the Python group. Good. So uh, I think so everyone uh, understood how to import this thinker. Yes, anyone having doubt? Yes, anyone having doubt, then ask. Okay, so now uh, <coughs> we will uh, we will move to further. Okay. Next will be there are number of pages uh, which we are we can put on our uh, uh, application. In that we have to see here lots of there. I, here I mentioned thirteen total. That will be a button, canvas, uh, check uh, check button, entry frame, label, list box, menu uh, menu button, menu message, radio button, scroll uh, scroll bar, and spin box. Okay. So now we are seeing the button. So first we need to see the button means what button is a uh, is a used to add the various types of button in the python application means what we don't know means uh, how many uh, buttons are there so in buttons we are having lots of things so we need to see that uh, we are adding number of buttons in our program Okay, so we are adding button means what we know that lots of buttons are there like uh, suppose uh, for addition or subtraction, we, we know the calculator. So in that for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all the things we know that we are having buttons. Simply you have to take the example of our keyboard. So our keyboard is having multiple buttons. So how we are imp implementing that buttons on our GUI application. So uh, for that we are having button tag. So we will see here first of all the button tag having a two attribute means two attribute uh, that will be a one of the uh, options and in that we are having lots of methods so first of all we need to simply uh, take the one of the uh, simple button okay so how to take the simple button same code is there just we are just here adding one of the means uh, we need to first of all write means the button which we are importing over there that will be having uh means the size and width the width and size of that button so for that we are having uh, we are having geometry method we are having geometry method means what here we are passing in double quote we are passing the uh, uh values okay into 100 okay 
and now here i take b is equal to a button button in that we are having two parameters first we need to top why because in top we are mentioning that how many uh, uh width are there okay and then i will take take one more text is equal to means the name of that button suppose add okay okay and after that we call just b dot b dot this packet method that i will told you that uh, this method here that will be the a packet means what it is organize the width in the blocks before placing in the parent width means what uh, this method means what it will be a place uh, place that button or something somewhere here in this a uh, gui application okay so here we are using this pack method and after that we are closing our the main loop okay for gui Just one minute. The top TK dot. Let's directly run this. Okay, so this will be the uh, program related to the uh, button. Okay, so everyone understand how to add the button. Ma'am, screen is not visible. Screen is not visible. Just I will check. Now my screen is visible. Yes, yes ma'am, visible. Okay, so here actually uh, I will write the code for other button means how to take the action for that button. So you have to see here. Uh, I will explain program once again. Here first of all uh, we need to import that pa pa main interface package that will be a TK. After that top is equal to TK. I will take here. Okay, after that, I will take top is equal to title means I want to give the title to my uh, that button. So that's why I here write that continue in seconds. Okay, after that, I will take the variable that will be a button is equal to tk dot button means what uh, we are calling this uh, tk over here. Okay, and that I, I will write the first of all the method that will be our method means what we are just uh, taking the sorry here. I think the top top. Yeah, here we are. I am taking the top method means what it will be a read this content, and after that, text is equal to stop means what we are here. Two things are there after that, will top that will be a 25 means the button which we are creating that will be a 25, and and command is equal to a top dot destroy means what we are destroying that button also. Okay. Then uh, we are calling the pack method that I told you that it will be a collect all the it will be organize all the blocks in the before uh, means before execution it will be a combined all the blocks. Yeah, it will be a not. Okay, so you have to see here, here, actually a button will be a display that will be a stop means if I will click on that stop button, it will be a destroy you have to see here. Okay, now I will click on this stop button, it will be a, a, a terminate my program means or the in this program I am writing that will after a continuing second, it will be the a destroy. You have to see here, if I will click on this stop, my program will be a destroy. Okay, so it this will be the simple program for a button. Okay, so any doubt is there in button program? Okay, so uh, you have to write one of the uh, like 
here uh, this will be the uh, method that will be a destroy like that suppose here i am uh, writing like uh, um, So we are having lots of method over there. Like here I am writing one of the destroy or stop method means after click on that stop, my button will be a, a stop. Means what? Uh, this will be the simply example for actually button. And so uh, now uh, you have to take the one of the program. In that you have to take the uh, three or four buttons. You have to take the three or four buttons. Like uh, this line, uh, the line which I write over here. Uh, this line uh, means the button line you have to take the four to five buttons in that you have to display the different different colors so where you have to write the color name you have to write the color name over here means what we are giving the button name like suppose i will uh, just i will demo on one uh, one here after that you have to do uh, you have to add the more buttons okay suppose in button one i will write red and then my uh, width will be uh, uh, okay width will be 20 and command will be the is equal to suppose here i write the method that will be uh, uh, writing uh, uh, destroy here i will write the active active foreground means what it will be uh, give the color to the foreground okay foreground color is equal to suppose i will write a uh, red uh, same okay and then and means what active now background i will give the color to foreground now i want to give the color to background also so active active background is equal to suppose black here i will give the black no it will it will you have to write it will be a capital or small nothing will be there okay okay this uh, line i will write over here and now i will uh, just uh, execute this invalid indentation active okay so command is so you have to see here see here if i will click on this button it will be changes the color okay means what the in in foreground it will be a red and in background sorry in foreground means the text color will be a red and uh, uh, the background color will be a red means what uh, which time it will be happen if I will click on this button, this uh, action will be performed. So this will be the other way. So like that, you have to just by using this button, you have to take the four buttons. Okay, you have to take the red, blue, green and yellow, any color and you have to set the background and foreground color also. And you have to, you have to execute the program. Yes, any doubt is there? Yes, any doubt is there. Okay, just here uh, for your understanding, I will just enter from here because the all the lines will be there. So we, we don't know. We are writing here uh, like a top means what this argument means. We are clicking on that. So we are performing one of here. I will give the name as a red to my text. After that, the width is 25. Then suppose here I will change the width to 100. So you have to say here, it will be the width will be the width, width will be the vertically, it will be the changes, okay? So the width will be a vertically a changes, you have to see here. If I will change the uh, width over there, okay? Now, same. If we are having command is equal to top uh, comma why i am here using comma because here i am performing some of the action that will be i want to set the color for foreground and background uh, okay 
so that's why here i am writing this uh, comma over here if we are writing only one method that will be active why we are taking here comma because we are uh, mentioning some of the value over there okay so here i am writing just the com command is equal to top comma active foreground is equal to red and active background is equal to black okay and simply here we are calling that back method and after that we need to uh, complete or we need to close our main loop okay so this will be the uh, total related to the button okay any doubt is there regarding button yes any doubt yes any doubt is there regarding button yes anyone hello i am audible hello i am audible yes ma'am okay so any doubt is there regarding a button yes can i move further no ma'am no, ma okay so you have to implement yes, the button right now or can i move further yes can i move further or you have to implement the first of all program of button okay so this actually the this line we are taking that means if we are clicking on this text then we, it will be we, this concept most of the time uh, using in gaming like if you have to actively click on that button so it will be a changes their color or text value like that so this will be the related to this uh, this line of code okay so you have can you implement or can i move further for next uh, uh, next but uh, next point that will be the canvas yes ma'am okay i will move further at last you have to implement and you have to share your screen okay next will be the canvas okay so the canvas means what the next uh, next uh, will be the canvas canvas means what uh, it is added a structure the graphics to the physical application means what the canvas means what canvas is also having same content canvas is like a one of the box means like a, we call it as a tk interface window means but the window we the window which we are using for the t, uh, canvas which will be having some of these shapes which we are adding in the which we are adding over there okay for canvas okay so this will be the uh, program for a button here i will give the comment no there is no need i will share at last uh, to uh, the program which i will already actually the program is not uh, implemented in uh, here so that's why uh, just uh, here i will at last i will share this overall uh, uh, gui uh, collab no, uh, notebook to you okay so okay so just you have to see here here i am first of all here we need to import that uh, in uh, tk inter, uh, enter after that what i should do for canvas here i want to i want to take the master is equal to tk okay okay masters equal to a tk okay after that i am taking w is equal to means for canvas we have a the attribute like a master equal to width and height means what the how many widths and how uh, how means height are there for the canvas so we are writing over there okay so uh, for my canvas i will put over here uh, width is 40 and height is a 60 okay after that we are calling the method that will be a pack method after that my canvas uh, height uh, is equal to 20 means what it will be actually very uh, uh, i am taking here one of the variable declaration height and width so my height of my canvas will be a 20 and width will be a 200 okay so i will take one more y is equal to integer canvas height divided by 2 means what what i should do here i am dividing my height by 2 
means what after dividing my height by 2 it will be changes their shape and create a line is equal to from 0 just first i will uh, execute then you will be understand so you have to so this will be the out so you have to see here actually this will be the created one of the line you have to see here the line means what this line will be what related to this that will be means uh, just uh, okay you have to uh, see here okay means what the line means what first what i should do i want uh, the height will be a 20 but what i should do after that i will be divide my height by 20 means what we know that the if i will divide by 2 so height will be a my 10 then after that w create line means what here i am using the create line means what i want to create the line that will be start from the zero means zero to it will be a take up to a which up to the 10 why because here i am dividing my height by 2 So y is equal to y means what? This value it will be take that will be a ten. Then canvas width width means what? Two hundred width means you have to see here. Okay, just suppose uh, I will add here one more zero and I will uh, execute. Okay, so it will be you have to see here uh, uh, the uh, actually window will be small. So you have to see here it will be a the the line width will be a th little bit a thick. so that will be the another output and why will be display and i will close my main loop okay so like that suppose uh, uh, it will be uh, suppose like that uh, what i should do here i will take the canvas uh, method and uh, what i should do uh, i will add one more here just a, a comma bj bj is for a background color uh, in canvas we are using this short forms okay Red, okay. Red and height will be here and height like this. So you have to see here. It will be a create the canvas with the a parameter which I pass over here. Like a width is a forty and height will be a sixty and the background color will be the red. So you have to see here the the this window means what this a little bit part that will be the part which will be a red that will be the uh, my canvas. Okay. canvas means what canvas is the one of the structure the graphics which we are using to draw the graphs or uh, point means like uh, we are uh, like we know that we are having different types of uh, graph that will be a bar graph chart graph circular graph or we are we know that we are suppose we want to find the like a ratio related to in a, related to the like a, um, what we say that like a, marketing suppose in 2020 uh, the ratio of the like uh, we consider as the covid so the this much patient is there like we are drawing one of the graph for plotting the points like that so for that point we are using this a uh, canvas okay so this will be the simple example for canvas and suppose here i want to uh, add some of the shape in my canvas this will be the simply canvas now suppose i want to add some of the space uh, some of the shape in my canvas so what i should do now now here i will suppose uh, yeah, arc i want to draw one of the circle or one of the half circle like so i will take uh, one of the variable arc is equal to uh, w dot create create Okay, create arc is equal to here. We are having actually a uh, different parameters. First, we need to give the parameters. Means what? Here, I want to draw simply. We call it as a half circle. Okay, so here I will give give the parameter like suppose ten to n, one uh, fifty. Okay, ah, uh, this all will be the angles. Means what? Ah, uh, the uh, shape start from the fifth. It will be uh, up to ten. After that, it will be take the a uh, triangle. Uh, और वी कॉल इट एज अपन त्रिकोण म्हणजे अशी काढत नाही का ड्रॉ करून सर्कल घेऊन तर हा कोण 150 म्हणजे अप टू 150 इट विल बी क्रिएट अ लाइन आफ्टर दैट इट विल बी अ रिटर्न बॅक टू द 200 पॉइंट बॅक ओके 
this will be my first parameter then i will mention here start is equal to 0 from 0 it will be start after that it will be x extend it will be extend up to which 50 why because after this it will be a return back so here i write 150 comma here i will give the color to that okay fill fill it will be one of the parameters suppose i will write here pink okay here i uh, okay and simply now i will execute this to convert object at you create art okay it will be c e p a t e extend extend So you have to see here, it will be a generate shape like this. Okay, my programming window is visible. You have to see here, it will be a draw shape like this. Means what? This will be a not in a proper manner. Okay, so now what we are doing, we are changing the values over there, here. Just uh, here, Can anyone tell uh, which value I will be a uh, change that uh, it will be like uh, suppose uh, just first of all I will what I should do I will change my width and height so it will be a look good width and my height will be also I will uh, set same width and same height so it will be a look good so you have to see here the shape like this this line will be start from the zero it up to 150 and after 150 it will be take the triangle and after it will be a return back me so we call it as a here we i am calling one of the a uh, shape that will be this shape so for by using canvas you have to draw the star any 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 type of a uh, shapes any type of shape so this will be the example of the canvas So this will be the example of canvas. So by using canvas, the canvas uh, functions, we uh, uh, canvas GUI we are using for the uh, graphics designs and all the four points. So it means like the uh, designing of bar graphs, uh, any type of different shapes like that all. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes. Ma'am, please explain that value of 5, 10, 115, and 200. Okay, this value, okay. So now uh, you have to see here the shape. Okay, five means what? It will be start from means the line, the uh, length of this line will be a five. Okay, after that it will be a take up to ten, but this will be one fifty is an angle. Uh, apne lama hi tapan jo angle triangle skar to je apne dhar bara vila hejat kar le la sadga graph graphics madhe manje kai apne kaise kar hai jo apne lama value dilay suppose ten. Tera apne kai kar hai jo हा टोकाला ठेवून एक सर्कल मारायचं दुसऱ्या टोकाला ठेवून दुसरा सर्कल मारायचा तो पॉइंट जिथं कुठं मॅच होतो आपण असा ट्रायंगल ड्रॉ करत होतो बरोबर तर त्याच्यानुसारच हे काय केलं ही तर मी पाच पर्यंत ही लाईन वाढ घेतली आफ्टर दॅट ती दहा पर्यंत वाढवली दहा पर्यंत वाढवली म्हणजे काय तर ही ही जी हाईट आहे ही कडची हाईट ती माझी टेन झाली आणि आफ्टर दॅट मी काय करते चेक करते ही तर मला एकशे पन्नास डिग्रीचा अँगल तयार होते म्हणजे काय मी ही व्हॅल्यू जी घेतली आणि सपोज ही तर मी काय करते आता सपोज ट्वेंटी आणि टेन घेते सो यू हॅव टू सी हिअर दी चेंज इट विल बी अ चेंजेस means what the way the value is uh, we are taking here like a start from zero means what we know that uh, we are having x axis and y axis okay so we are uh, every time we are starting from the suppose from the zero axis zero axis to positive value or the negative value. like so here i am creating the uh, i am creating the uh, triangle uh, i am creating the shape that will be this angle we call it as a this angle will be what for a 150 and 200 it will be a return this shape it will be a return the shape so we are having one two three 
this all uh, related to this point means what angle up now suppose we want to uh, display the by using canvas we want to uh, display the a uh, circle okay so for that we are uh, having uh, Okay. And now, suppose we want to draw the circle. So for that, uh, for drawing that circle, we are having a different parameter. Like we are having uh, uh, for circle, uh, uh, how many parameters we need if we want to draw the circle? If we want to draw the circle, so we we need uh, some of the parameter for that ax. So suppose what I should do here, I will uh, just. Uh, change the parameter suppose 100 okay comma um, 75 comma 50 okay a half then comma 0 comma 2 just want to come up to here So just uh, I will check. Uh, suppose here. Uh, so TK. Sorry. Uh, uh, just uh, if suppose we want to uh, draw a circle over here. So how means which how many parameters we need over here? Can anyone tell? For circle, how many parameters we need? Yes, anyone? Three parameters required. We need a three parameters. Okay, so for circle, we need a, a three parameter. Okay, so suppose here I write Okay, so can anyone uh, uh, you uh, please you have to implement the uh, draw the canvas and you have to display the shape that will be the circle. Yes. Now everyone start to, to implement the, this canvas program so to say three parameters. Here, here we need one more parameter. Start. Uh, we will go to under. So I will take mid third is equal to four. You have to implement the program of canvas. Everyone, half circle, it will be a half circle. Four parameters here. Yes, anyone completed? Yes. I want the program of canvas. You have to uh, display the circle here. I am uh, writing the simple program here. Here half circle will be half means what half to half circle will be generated. So what will be the uh, parameters which I will change over here? It will be a, a, a draw with a whole circle. Yes, please tell me. If which point I will uh, change over here in this parameter, it will be a draw by ho whole circle.
Yes, which parameter I will change? Yes, I asked that here I will display the uh, only one part of my circle. So which parameter I will be changed for the displaying whole circle? Angle. Yes, angles. Suppose here I will change change the angle like suppose one zero one ten two ten. No, it will be also uh, if I will change the angles also, so it will be a not display. So which parameter I will change over here? So it will be a display the whole circle. Just tell me. Yes, anyone completed? Hello, ma'am. Ah, yes. I mean, instead of arc, uh, we need to use oval shape. What? So, instead yes, of arc, we have to use oval. Yes, correct. We are having different method in our, uh, for displaying the shapes. So for that, we are using the oval shape. Why? Because arc means what? It will be a displaying half circle. Okay. Okay, we are here, we are using. Here we are using the arc. Let's do that. Okay, so you have to see here the results. Good. If we are uh, we are using the arc method, it will be a displaying half circle only. It will be a not displaying the full circle. Okay, so this will be the uh, example of the uh, uh, by using canvas. You have to display the many of the shapes. Okay, you have to uh, display the many of the shape uh, by using the a uh, canvas. So, uh, how many of you implement the canvas? Yes, many of you are sharing program on uh, Google, uh, WhatsApp, but it will be a for not for a shape that will be a cir circle. Yes, anyone want to share? Yes. I have sent on group. Okay. Okay. Good. So, everyone understand the canoes? Okay. Now we will move further for a next point that will be the uh, next will be the our uh, check button. Okay, we are uh, now we will check with the a uh, check button. Just simply I will take the code from here. Actually, we are having less time. Okay, so just uh, uh, here. Okay, so you have to see here what will be the check button. Check button means uh, means the working of the check button. Check button means what? If we are clicking on that button, it will be a display with uh, some of the output. Okay, that will be the we call it as a check button means we are using for a choice means what we are uh, we call it as a, it will be one of the a choice. Okay, don't put your presentee on chat. Actually, I will continue with the eleven fifty. After that, you have a lunch break, and after that, you have a, a, a guest lecture of the computer graphics. Okay. So, uh, still we are having 50 minutes. So, don't put your presentation on chat, okay? So, we are uh, uh, using ch check button for choices. Means we, we are, uh, suppose we are having, we, we want the different choices. So, for that we are having the uh, choice button. So, you have to see here, here I am taking uh, same, uh, the, uh, the 
first uh, two to three lines are same for the each and every code. Now here I am taking variable one is equal to uh, int var. Int var means what? Here I am taking this int var for a conversion of the integer values. Okay, uh, uh, okay. So here uh, integer variable is equal to uh, what I write. I like check button is equal to master. Master means my my I will call my uh, interface that will be a TK interface. After that, text is equal to mail and variable equal to var one. Var one. Why here I am calling var one because we are converting integer to variable. Means uh, here if suppose sometimes here a value is there, so uh, nothing uh, happen. Okay. After that, uh, here I am using the grid method. Grid method is what. Uh, grid method is what to organize the width in the grid means a table like structure okay in a packet method means what we don't know where our block will be put but by using greedy we are putting our content in the tabular format okay and after that what i should do here take i will row one row zero why i am uh, putting row zero here because the greedy method will be a uh, display the uh, values in the Display the value in the format of what tabular. So for that here, I am uh, putting that row in row one. At stick is equal to a w. Okay, this will be the parameter. Means what here we uh, sticky. Sticky means what? It will be actually I am taking the name as like a stick. Sticky. You have to take any name over here. It is not compulsory. You have to take like that. Same. I will call for female. If now I will execute this, you have to see here. Here two checkbox buttons are there. Checkbox means what? We are selecting more than one form. We are selecting checkbox means what? We are selecting more than one form by using checkbox. Okay. So this will be the checkbox. Any doubt is there in checkbox? Yes, any doubt is there in checkbox? Checkbox means what? We are selecting more than one. So this will be the my, this will be a my uh, uh, pro, uh, output for the checkbox. So simply what we are doing, we are taking one of the variable and we are just passing the value over there. So uh, most of the time this checkbox is using for a uh, multiple option selections, okay? So, any doubt is there in checkbox? Yes. Any doubt? Don't put your presentee on chat. I will ask everyone understand the checkbox. Yes. Hello, I am audible. Yes, everyone understand. Yes, ma'am. About checkbox. Okay, so the this will be the simple example of a a. Okay, I will repeat once again. You have to see here. Uh, first, we need to import the a uh, thinker. Okay. After that, we are calling that thinker method. After that, here I am taking variable one. If we are right at the time of uh, writing the uh, checkbox, we need to compulsory write this integer variable. Why? Because the text which we are taking over there, uh, we don't know. It will be sometimes suppose we are putting number over there or we are putting some text over there like that. So for that, we are using this integer int var method to convert the uh, text in the format of integer to variable or variable to integer. So after that, here I am taking one of the checkbox is equal to master means what the interface that will be a TK interface we are calling after that text is equal to mail. And after that variable equal to variable one. Why? Because we are calling this, we are storing uh, this value over there. And after the grid method, grid method means what the grid method will be a uh, display our content in the uh, table uh, like structure our content in the tabular format okay so uh, so we call it as a that will be the greedy after that row zero why here i am writing row zero because row zero means what it will be a display this text in the row one after that you have to see here for female i will add row three 
and suppose same for i will uh, have uh, we know that we suppose here i will take one more that will be the uh, and here i will write okay odd means what we are taking here row a three why because we want to add it suppose here i will put one here so it will be a print with the you have to see here it will be a print other over here it will be a erase to the it will be a print in the uh, in the in, means the output which we are creating in it will be a, a generate with the a same means what it will be a hide this uh, female and it will be put on over there so for that we are using this row uh, variable to uh, put my uh, 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 my program in the different so you have to see here there before if i will uh, like uh, i will write like uh, line here like one so it will be hide the female and it will be put over there so this will be the uh, my is this will be the tk method is equal to w means what it will be for the white white weeds means the weeds means what it will be we are not giving any simply weed so if we are not writing this also so if we want to give the color to our uh, that buttons uh, the that checkbox so we need to add the color that will be a bg color bg is equal to our background action color is equal to a uh, uh, the color which we want means what suppose like this you have to say here means what if uh, we want this in a same line so that time we are having the different parameters which we are seeing in the next uh, next contents which we are seeing over there okay so this will be the my uh, width so all of you understood this check box okay so next will be the entry entry means what the entry a uh, checkbox uh, provide in uh, entry checkbox is provide the single line text box to the user to accept the value from the user means like uh, the program which we are uh, writing like to take the input from the user okay so take the uh, input from the user means what like we consider as a a uh, we call it as a that will be the text like suppose uh, i will uh, s s tell you that you have to uh, log in uh, through this username and password so at the time uh, we are using this entry we are using this uh, entry button at that time means what we call it as a we are providing the uh, label to uh, the my row label to my row okay so now we have to see here label entry means what we call it as a label means what uh, i will tell you that okay so this line this void space we call it as a entry space this void space is called as a entry space means what it line will be provide us to write the single text box we are writing a single line or some limitation of lines over there so we call it as a that will be the entry okay so here i will explain the code first we need to import that package okay after that we are calling that package after that here i will take label is equal to master of text first name grid is equal to row zero means what here we are using grid method why because we need a sum of the sequence of data so we are using this a uh, label and entry button to take the or uh, at the time of designing a, a registration page at the time of designing a, a registration page so that time we are using all this format okay so suppose i want to uh, suppose i want to uh, add some of the myth uh, so like i want to uh, means what if we are uh, doing with the any of the uh, geo app like here some simply i am taking this example for label and suppose we are designing login page so the, for designing login page what we need we need one of the button we need a label we need a text uh, or we need a ent uh, entry why we need a entry because we are uh, putting value somewhere there means what this the here and for submission of that we need a one of the button so these are the simple uh, simply some of the methods which we are using uh, over here or uh, that will be the 
first we are seeing that we are using this label to take the entry from that cost uh, that user which we are entering okay so entry means what this void space is called this as a entry actually there is a no any code for this entry just we are writing the number of entries and suppose here i write uh, e3 is equal to okay e3 is equal to entry of master okay entry of master and i will again so you have to say it will be a display to why because here we are providing only labels to the two or uh, name that will be we are entering in the sequential format okay and we are calling both as a column one and column a uh, two why because we know we know that uh, this name will be having one column and this will be having one column okay so this will be actually the entry point is nothing code is there it will be the combination of label uh, buttons and all the things means what everyone know that login page how we are logging in login page we are having suppose a user id is a uh, user id field so we are we call it as a user id as a la label and the uh, in front of that the space is available where we are putting our user id that will be the entry that will be the entry and after that we are having other label that will be a password in front of that we are uh, pasting our password and after that we are having submit button or login button any button is there if we are clicking on that button it will be a move to somewhere other page so we call it as a that will be some of the parts related to this entry labels and all the things okay so this will be the point uh, related to the a uh, label okay so now today we are covering with the points uh, like uh, button canvas check button and entry and label okay so now uh, in next lecture we are seeing the frames list box actually list box is the same like a uh, a uh, check button list box is the same like a check button the structure of that will be a some will little bit different after that menu button menu message radio button this all point remaining we are seeing in the uh, next lecture okay so uh, so uh, how many of you implemented with the a uh, point which we are covering uh, in today's lecture yes tell me yes how many of you complete with the all the points like a for implementation of button canvas check bu check button entry and label uh, so um, still we are having 5 minutes so you have to implement this uh, entry entry point means what you have to add the uh, entry point for creating a registration page simply after completion of all the content Content in GUI. I will give you assign you one of the tasks which you need to complete. Okay, so just uh, one. Some of the students are uh, sending the program uh, related to uh, the last point. No, no one will. Ha, yes, someone is implemented uh, this. Okay, so uh, I request all of you to complete with the program of uh, the up to the point which we are cover uh, uh, today. That will be you have to uh, combine all the points over, uh, in a single format. Means what? What you have to do? You have to just take a button. Uh, first, we need to take the a label. Label means what? We are taking first name. We are take the first name, uh, middle name, last name. After that, you have to take roll number, name like that all. After that, you have to take one of the button to uh, just a button. After cl uh, means click on that button, data will be uh, save somewhere over you have to use the canvas to display the uh, star shape or any other shape after that you have to check button you have to mention uh, check button in your registration form like uh, 10th or 12th uh, like that option you have to put over there okay so this will be the points which we are cover over there and next lecture we are seeing the remaining points okay so any doubt is there the point which we are covering just today four to five points i will cover related to gy that will be yes any doubt is there no ma'am okay 
so uh, if you have any doubt you have to uh, message me uh, no issue about that okay so uh, all of you complete with the points which we are covered today that will be the button canvas check button entry and label okay so if you have to fail to implement the programs at the time of external, you have to face the problem, okay? So you need to, if we, we know that we are having a lots of uh, parameters related to single point, that will be if you are taking the button. So many of the parameters are there. So we need to study each and every parameters over there, okay? So... So at last, I will uh, share all the programs with you. Uh, no issue about that. So you need any doubt regarding GUI? Like uh, now in mobile also, I think so many of you are sharing the program that will be executed on mobile. But uh, in Google Colab platform, sometimes it will be executed. Sometimes it will be a not executed. So you have to try with the different uh, platforms related to uh, Python uh, for execution of the GUI program. Okay.